Okay, Cam Fam, welcome back to my channel. It's a brand new year, which means brand new content is coming your way. Before anything else, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button so you're always notified whenever I have new videos like this one. Parang dapat since bagong taon na dapat bago na rin yung intro ko eh, no? Guys, maybe you could suggest a new way for me to do my intro. But anyways, for today's vlog, I am going to share with you guys my shopping haul from Europe! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Are you guys ready? So our trip to Europe, as you've already probably seen in our vlog, wasn't really your normal touristy vlog because we didn't really do much of the touristy things. We basically just relaxed, ate, slept, and shopped. So here are the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Let's start off with the clothes. I bought quite a few of winter clothes because I will be having some events this winter. So which is why I wanted to have like really nice winter clothes. So the first one that I purchased is... Ta-da! This coat from Kenzo. It's very, very unique. I definitely don't have anything like this yet. And I feel like it's such a statement piece that if I wear this, it's super duper packed for the events that I'll be attending this winter. Super cute. I got this during our shopping trip to La Vallée, which is like the outlet shopping place in France. It's around maybe an hour away from Paris. So a lot of the prices there are already outlet prices. And aside from that, you get uh, your tax refund. I don't know if you know, but if you haven't shopped in Europe, then most of the EU places or the European Union countries do offer a tax refund to their tourists. So in Paris, when you shop there, like more than I can't remember, 100 plus euros, you get 12% back of the tax. Basically, outlet price na nga siya, and then mayroon pa tayong tax refund. So I felt like maybe it's about time for me to buy something like this. It is kind of a splurge still even if I bought it from the outlet. But considering its original price, it is a super duper steal. And then next up is this pair of boots. I have been lusting over these boots for the past few months months. I've been wanting to buy them online but I was already considering that we're going to Paris. Sayang naman the tax refund which is why I really wanted to wait. And good thing I waited because they were still my size. These are Chloe boots and they're actually rubber boots so they're perfect for the snow still. And if it's raining, I don't have to worry about damaging my boots. Super duper cute. And especially now that chunky boots are so so in so I feel like I can wear them like under my pants, over my pants, anything goes. It's also quite heavy though, but it's okay. I love it. And then next up, let's also do clothes again. I bought these corduroy pants. So I got these from the outlet as well. These are by Isabel Marant. Isabel Marant is actually one of my favorite brands. I really wanted to buy more blues, especially because blue is our color of the year this year. It's got a nice loose fit as well. And it's thick enough for me to wear during winter, these coming months abroad, and also thin enough for me to wear here in the Philippines. Since I've already touched on blue, I also bought this blue coat. This one is the man from Sandal Paris, also from the outlet. It's a nice loose fit. It also comes with a belt. So I was thinking of like an all blue number, which is why I bought another blue in a different shade of blue. Sandal is actually not as expensive as most other luxury brands. But it's more of a contemporary label, which is why it's not as expensive as the super duper luxury brands. And it's also from Paris. I think the first time I bought some Sandal is also in Europe and I completely fell in love with the brand. I really love how it's so contemporary. It's street but super duper polished. Let's finish all the clothes actually. I didn't buy a lot of clothes, but these are all like statement pieces. So aside from my Kenzo coat, I also bought this Montclair coat. I've always wanted to have like a Montclair jacket, but it took me a while to find like a jacket that I really, really love. So this is a puffer jacket and it's not your usual puffer because it's got this really cute print. I'm so excited to wear it. It's super duper cute. Guys, cute talaga siya. More so in person. I can't wait to show you guys how I'm gonna style it. But yeah, I can already imagine this for my winter event. So this one also I got from Montclair's outlet store. It's actually cheaper than the Kenzo coat that I bought. It's such a good steal because Montclair coats are usually super duper 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 expensive. And especially with something that's as limited edition looking as this one. With this really 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 unique print, I really didn't expect to find such a good steal like this one. And then next up are the... 
Ah, okay. Another pair of shoes that I bought. So before going to Paris, I really, really had a goal to buy like more boots because again, I was thinking of all these winter events and also boots are so in right now and I really wanted to collect more boots since I've been getting addicted to them slowly. One of the styles of boots that I was really super duper looking forward to shop for was a pair of combat boots because I really wanted like a pair of chunky combat boots. It took me a while to look for these. Originally, I was looking for a pair from Prada. So they came out with this. It's just the perfect length. It's not too high. It's not too short. It's chunky but not so chunky that it's so like out of this world and I love the little pouches that they have on the boots but the problem is I kept looking for them all over Paris and they're completely sold out they only have like 36 or 35.5 left so I had to accept the fact that I didn't find anyone ever because all the people want the boots but on our last day I was able to find this pair Ta-da! So these are from Miu Miu, Prada's sister. <laughs> I always call it Prada's little sister. So it's as chunky as well. I love the height. I think the Prada ones are a bit higher still, but these are super duper good. I love the sole. I was actually choosing between this or the Dior. The Dior is more expensive than this one and also so much sleeker and thinner. So it's really definitely for the more feminine, classic, polish type of girl. And I really wanted like a pair of combat boots that are more on the streetwear side. So yan siya. Super cute. And then bags. I know a lot of you are waiting for the bags. So are you ready for the first bag that I bought? Ta-da! So I'm sure you guys have been seeing this all over Instagram. Nylon Prada bags are making a comeback. I chose this pink color because I noticed that I really don't have much pink, even if it used to be my childhood favorite color. For some reason, I don't have a lot of pink fashion stuff. So I made it a point to choose this pink one. It's also got some ruching over here. It's not the plain type. And it's super duper light as well. Sad lang because this doesn't come with a dust bag. Apparently, the nylon bags. Because I went back to the Prada store and was like, Hey, you forgot to give me a dust bag. They're like, no, it's not sold with a dust bag. So here you go. Next bag that I bought is a bit more on the pricier side. But again, I've been lusting over this bag for so, so many months now. And I really just didn't want to buy them in other countries because I really wanted to wait until I get to Europe where I could get my tax refund and where the prices are also cheaper than when you buy from other Asian countries. So the bag that I got is the cassette bag of Bottega Veneta. I know that if you're really like super duper into fashion, then you've seen this all over as well. I was choosing between this or the pouch like the dumpling clutch of Bottega Veneta. But I was talking to some friends in the industry and they were like saying that this one seems like something that you can use more. It's more versatile. You can use it as a clutch. You can use it with the strap. So this is one of the new colors for this season. So it's this pastel blue color. So again, in theme with the color of the year this year. It's not exactly the same shade, but at least it's still blue. Actually, na binyagan ko na siya. I've already used it when I was in Paris. And then next up, I said I was only gonna buy like one super duper expensive bag, which is the Bottega, and then I was gonna buy like less expensive bags now. But while I was in Chanel, I blamed my aunt because she was asking me to buy her a bag there. I had a lot of time on my hands, so I was looking through the iPad. Sabi nga ni Yoni, he thinks this is one of the styles of the salespeople there. Just give you the iPad so maybe you'll find something. And I saw this really convenient Chanel bag that I feel like I would be able to use a lot of times because when I go out, especially here around the area or like late at night or mga biglang spontaneous like hangouts with my friends, I don't like bringing a lot of stuff. I usually just get a few cash and then credit cards and then my phones, lipstick, and an oil fill. So I got this tiny bag that fits all of that. So it's still in the box. Already removed the ribbon. Are you ready for the reveal? And I don't have this color yet out of all my Chanel bags. I am di ko pa siya for you guys. Ha! I always try to remove the Chanel sticker. <laughs> Nang perfect, pero hindi yung siya perfect right now. Ta-da! It's this beautiful tiny sling bag. It's in beige. Actually, I don't know if it's registering well. It's a vertical bag. So it's long like this with this classic Chanel chain. You see, it's big enough for both my phones, my power bank, my wallet. I know because I've tested it really before buying. And then inside, it's like this. Super cute. Very neat. And I love the color. Such a nice 
classic color. But wait, there's more. Nabudo ako sa Chanel because I had to go to a lot of different branches to look for my aunt's bag because the color that she wanted wasn't there. So napabili ako ulit mo niya. Branch. I was thinking of buying necklaces from Chanel because I really wanted to have a Chanel necklace already. I have earrings, but I don't have necklaces yet. Or I was choosing between that or a belt. But I ended up getting the necklace. So this is the first necklace. Oh, oh, hindi lang isang binili ko. I bought two. <laughs> I'm sure I'm so happy now because I haven't seen my credit card bill. Pero paglabas ng credit card bill ko, medyo, I'm sure I will need some wine, some friends for support, maybe some sessions with my friends, you know. But anyways, here is what I bought. Me, are you ready? Me, are so killing. Tada! It's this really nice classic Chanel necklace that I plan on wearing alone or together with other layers of necklaces. So it's designed. Let's just take care of how we open this, ano? Baka maputol. Then I will really cry. Hold on. Originally, I was looking for chokers. But I saw this and they piled it on with a bunch of other necklaces. And I was like, hey, I want that. Imagine it when I'm wearing like a turtleneck. Then no, no, this is just outside. So cute. And then aside from this, I also bought... <laughs> this tiny one. It's a choker. Ta-da! So pretty. Ta-da! So there you have it. So this one I'll wear longer. I can still adjust that, and then I can like do that. Tapos nagjuma na kadalig na ako na kadalig na ako super cute. But anyways, I digress. So we'll remove them now and put them in my safe. See? So those are all the fashion items that I bought. But I also bought these posters, which you will see soon here. Some of them will be here in the bedroom. Some of them will be downstairs in the living room. But it comes from this store called the Poster Club. They're based in Denmark, and I had them shipped to my in-laws in Finland. So yan siya. I'm gonna show you guys. Kung mabuksan ko siya. Pero kung hindi, see you next vlog. <laughs> so this first step is the one that's gonna be downstairs in our living room. So I chose them all to go together in one area. So this is the first one. So I'm really into line drawing and a lot of mga Scandinavian art. So very clean, minimalist. Here's the second one. Ta-da! And then I also bought this one naman. This is supposed to be the one in the middle. So those two are on the like, left and right. Tapos this one is in the middle. And then, for our bedroom, I also bought like smaller illustrations, smaller artwork. Ta-da! So again, I'm really into line drawing and also nudes. So they're all kind of from the same artist. Ma-appreciate ko siya pag naka-frame na siya, promise. Defensive. You'll see. And this is from a different artist. So I really am super duper into these kinds of artwork. So that is it for today's vlog. It's a very quick and short vlog. I just wanted to show you guys my shopping haul from Europe. I hope that you guys found something that you like as well. If meron kayong okrayin, wag na kayong mag-comment because 2020 is all about positivity and I don't want to see anyone negative. We have to be really, really positive. Only share positivity and kindness online. And with that, Please make sure to leave me a kind comment below and give me a thumbs up and see you guys on my next vlog. Bye guys!